Hello students, I'm Anita Abraham, Associate Professor of English. Welcome to the English Classroom. This is video number 21. Today's English lesson is from Semester 3 of the General English Curriculum prescribed by Osmania University for students of BA, BCom, BSc and BBA. Today's topic is titled Vocabulary, Technical Vocabulary. If you like my video, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notified of subsequent videos. Let's get started. Stu uh, students, we uh, know very well that English is an international language and it is widely used across the world uh, in academics and almost in all professions globally. For example, medical students need uh, English for medical courses, pilots need it for aviation courses, uh, English is widely used in the tourism industry. So English um, uh, 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 is used in various professions and in academics also. So uh, what we need to understand is that we need uh, uh, definite or particular vocabulary for specific contexts so that uh, the words or the vocabulary will help us communicate our needs specifically in the, those contexts, whether it is academics or whether it is professional. Okay, uh, so let's look at technical vocabulary. It's also called jargon and it's a, it's a set of words or phrases that is used this in a specific academic context or in the professional context field okay so uh, for example when people are working with computers and softwares they use terms like chip byte cookie bug virus so these words have a a a, a a a different meaning from their general meaning that we use it normally okay so uh, th this is called technical vocabulary so these words have a different meaning in the context of um, uh, what you call the computer uh, profession all right um, Experts in every field use technical terms or technical vocabulary or jargons as a kind of shorthand to communicate with their peers. Okay, so every discipline has its own specialized vocabulary. So, uh, in, there is uh, there are uh, specific words or vocabulary for specific professions, disciplines in academics. Okay, so engineering will have its own terminologies. Medicine will Will have its own terminology tourism industry will have its own terminology so these are technical uh, uh, vocabulary words or jargons that is used in that context all right mm. so it's it would be impossible to know or to master ja uh, jargon in all the disciplines in all the profession but it is good to know uh, you know what are some of the terms uh, terminologies uh, words that are used in the various domains or disciplines so that our uh, language becomes enriched and we can communicate effectively all right okay so in this particular unit or lesson we look at some words that are used in the field of business and media because these are two areas that all of us whatever our core competencies are tend it tends to uh, converge okay so it's better that we know um, uh, words from uh, vocabulary some technical jargons and words that's used in the world of business and in media as it's of interest to all of us so let's look at some business vocabulary let's look at some very common ones um, look at the words uh, it's on the screen for you agenda you must have come across this word uh, it's a written list of points to be discussed in a meeting attendee the one who attends a meeting bid the price a buyer is willing to offer for shares in a company and everybody buys and sells share you don't have to be a commerce person or you don't have to be in the field of uh, you know uh, business to 
uh, to deal with shares. It's an interest that everybody has. Billboards, a signboard for advertising posters. You come across it everywhere when you're traveling. Blue chip stocks, stocks of leading companies that have stable growth and earnings. So it's everybody's dream to uh, invest in blue chip stocks for example apple or um, reliance okay capital money and other property of the company used in a business transaction capital stock all shares present representing the ownership of the company casting vote an extra vote usually cast by the chairperson to decide an issue when the you know, votes on each side are equal okay so when there is a tie so the casting vote of the chairperson would be the tiebreaker conference call a telephone call between three or more people in different places consensus general agreement that is everybody has come to an agreement over an issue so these are words that are used in business and we should be familiar with these terms dividend a part of a company's earning that is paid to the shareholder stockholder on a quarterly or a annual basis equity the value of shares and stocks fringe benefits advantages offered in addition to salary such as life insurance retirement schemes company car etc so when you apply for jobs you must know what are the perks or the fringe benefits that you will get okay i conference uh, is a meeting conducted through the internet and during covid times we have seen a lot of i conferences okay jingle jingle is a catchy tune used to promote a product okay so this is the little song that comes uh, with every advertisement okay um, so that's called a jingle liabilities debts and obligations of a company or an individual uh minutes written summary or of the proceedings of a meeting so writing the minutes even when you are in college when you have your clubs you must have minutes of the meeting when you have a meeting negotiate uh, discuss a business deal in order to reach an agreement so you're buying selling something so you negotiate and then come to a conclusion okay um and seal the deal portfolio various types of securities held by an individual or an in institution okay the various shares that a company a uh, uh, institution has or an individual has securities transferable sec uh, certificate showing ownership of stocks bonds shares options etc so these are all terminology or technical terms that is used in the world of business sign posting languages um, um, uh, catchy phrases used to help focus on the audience attention on different parts of the presentation all right spec uh, uh, spec speculator uh, who's a speculator someone who buys and sells stocks and shares by assuming the profit through changes in the value so somebody who you know who's studying the stock market carefully and speculates that this is going to go high or this is going to go down and then buy the share take on employ or hire that, that's a that's a word from business tender a written offer to execute work or supply goods at a fixed price turnkey equipment ready to use or operate okay so turnkey is that all right now let's move on to some media vocabulary because uh, all of us have been uh, are uh, media savvy in the sense uh, it's part of our lives today uh, 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 whether it is the social media or whether it is your tv or your news whatever it the print media of uh, the visual media social media you are i mean it's all over the place so it's better it's nice to know some of the vocabulary that is common in media also broadsheet what is a broadsheet a newspaper printed in a large format circulation the average number of copies of a newspaper or magazine sold over a specific period of time okay so what is the circulation of hindu what is the circulation of inadu okay so that's how you do it 
classifieds what are classifieds you must have seen it in your newspaper small advertisements in the newspaper or magazine divided into categories so these classifieds come in that come under different categories and depending on the category that you want to look for you have to go and search for it commercial is an advertisement on radio or uh, tv okay the advertisements that come double page spread advertisements uh, printed across two pages in the newspaper or magazine so they when they take both the pages it's called a double page spread look let's look at some more words editing reviewing or rewriting in order to make the content suitable for publication eye catcher something that particularly attracts one's attention so you know uh, the headlines could be eye catchers a picture could be an eye catcher all right mass media the main means of mass communication which is uh, newspaper tv radio and of course now the social media your fb and your instagram and all that is also now mass media plug uh, favorable publicity in the media for a commercial product example a book okay so you're plugging the product in that is you're giving lot of publicity for the product okay prime time hours on the radio and tv with the largest audience especially the evening so the seven o'clock the eight o'clock the nine o'clock news or whatever is slotted even if it is serials uh, the prime time goes to the most popular serial okay and if it if the uh, serials ratings are not good then they get pushed to the afternoon slot or to the late night slot okay so the prime time would be between seven to ten depending on the country also promote using advertising and publicity to increase the sale of a product okay so the use of advertisements and publicity whether it is in the newspaper radio social media or um, uh, the tv to promote a movie or a product or anything okay um, advertising slot slot is the specific time in broadcasting schedule allotted for a commercial so you you see how commercials or advertisements come at regular intervals okay so that is the slot for advertising and that's how the revenue comes in i mean all of you all when you're seeing your cricket matches or your football matches you see at regular interval there will be a slot where the comer it's called the commercial slot where the advertisement comes in okay sound bite short extract uh, if this can be spelled as b y t e also short extract from a recorded interview or speech okay so uh, 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 a short extract from an interview or a speech is put into uh, the the view uh, to show the viewers okay to reinforce the news or whatever uh, is being shown either on radio on tv or whatever okay spot position of a commercial in a radio program or a tv schedule what is the spot that's given to you even that is important you know which spot have you got have you got it in the beginning in the middle or in the end tabloid tabloid is newspaper printed in small format usually with a lot of photographs also all right so these are some words we saw from Uh, the world of uh, uh, business and from the world of media and these are words that we need to be familiar with because uh, both uh, the world of business and the world of uh, media uh, is closely connected with uh, every person's lives okay so we need to know if not all the technical terms the or vocabulary that is used at least some of them so that you know it is easy for us to communicate effectively when we come across a uh, comprehend also when we come across these words all right so let's do some exercise to make technical vocabulary in uh, and especially the jargon from business and um, media more clearer okay so let's do exercise 1 which is fill in the blank with the correct option uh so let's see how uh, what, what to do so we have been given two options uh, and we need to pick the correct option to make an informed choice is to make a dash choice the options are wise and neutral so we need to pick the correct option so to make an informed choice is to make a wise choice or a wise decision the second uh, sentence 
the company wants to assess the dash of the age income etc of their customer base okay uh, so the options that are given to you are the options that are given to you are democracy and demographics i'm so sorry it's not there in the slide democracy d e m o c r a c y and the other word is demographics d e m o g r a p h i c s demographic de democracy and demographics is what is given now uh, what will you fill the blank with which is the correct option the company wants to assess the demographics that is the age income etc of their customer base so the right choice is demographics now let's move to the third sentence the company's dash is to provide high quality educational service uh, services and your um, two options are machine and mission what will you pick up mission the company's mission is to provide high quality educational service uh the fourth sentence um a white paper is an dash document a white paper is an dash document your options are authoritative and authentic so what will you pick up authoritative document okay it is something that carries weight white paper all right uh, uh, so white paper is a technical term in the world of business it's an authoritative document uh, let's look at sentence 5 uh, dash is a supply of goods a company has for sale inversion or inventory inventory so the list of products that the company has for sale is called its inventory inventory is the supply of goods a company has for sale let's look at sentence number 6 when something is when something is on someone's radar it means that the person is dash when when somebody says you are on, on my radar what does it mean that i know something about you i am aware of something okay so when something is on someone's radar it means that the person is aware of something all right um, it's an idiom uh, uh, seven to hammer out is to uh, to hammer out a deal is to dash a deal reach a deal okay reach a deal that is you have lot of negotiation hammering talking through uh, all the uh, you know the nitty gritties and then arriving at a conclusion reach a conclusion okay reach a deal eight to accept the first offer is to accept the dash bid first bidding or initial bid initial and first is the same but what is the technical term that we will use in business initial bid to accept the first offer is to accept the initial bid initial also means first but then here we will use the jargon initial bid let's look at sentence 9 if talks are at a standstill standstill it means that there is dash no danger or no progress no progress okay it is the talks have come to a standstill between the two parties it means there is no progress happening all right let's move to sentence 10 if you take ownership of a task it means you are dash responsible for it or at risk responsible for it okay you are the you have you have owned the task you have taken responsibility of the task okay in corporate jargon dash means things have to be done action items or act items action items in corporate jargon action items means things that have to be done okay so action has to be taken on these things okay let us look at uh, 
सेंटेंस ट्वेल्व इफ यू पे डैश इट मीन्स यू पे इन एडवांस एट द फ्रंट और अप फ्रंट अप फ्रंट इफ यू पे अप फ्रंट दैट इज यू हैव पेड अप फ्रंट मीन्स इट मीन्स यू हैव पेड इन एडवांस ऑल राइट आई पेड अप फ्रंट फॉर द flat or the apartment it means you have uh, paid in advance all right and let's look at the 13th sentence yes let's look at the 13th sentence if everyone is dash it means that they all agree to a proposal if everyone is on board not on the board on board it means that they all agree to a proposal are you all on board it means are you all on are you all agreeing to it okay to get the ball dash is to start something to get the ball rolling is to start something and let's look at fifth sentence 15 a dash is one who supplies goods vendor or vandal vendor a person who supplies the good is called the vendor all right so do you understand how these words are specific to the business context and you need to know these words and what they mean to communicate effectively in the business context so let's move on to the next exercise which is match the words in the box with their meanings okay so you have a uh, a a phrase or a sentence given and we need to pick up the words uh, from the box which is the meaning of the sentence that's given so before we do that let's just look at all the words that are given so these are words from the media so the first one is flyer a is flyer b sitcom c advert d editorial e talk show f column g paparazzi h opera soap opera uh, i phone in j network k propaganda l talking heads m trial balloons n yellow journalism o investigative journalism i mean most of these words we must have heard in some context or the other so let's read the sentences and find the words that fit into the uh, which is appropriate for the uh, uh, these sentences from the box that's given okay from the words in the box let's look at the first one a group of associated television or radio channels what would you what would be the word for that let's look at the call let's look at the box and pick up the right word network okay so network haven't you heard star tv sun tv or they are all a group of um, associated television and radio channels radio mirchi they have you know it's a network all right uh, the second one a photographer who follows celebrities in order to photograph them and sell the picture to the newspapers or magazines what who would, what uh, what is the technical word we would use from media to describe a photographer who follows celebra celebrities to photograph them and then sell this picture to uh, the radio and newspaper paparazzi correct so the word correct word is paparazzi you must have always seen that celebrities film stars politicians always say that you know paparazzi is following us and things like that and um so that's the word paparazzi these are these are fall, uh, photographers who follow celebrities let's look at sentence 3 um, the term used to describe sensational news reporting sensational news reporting uh, what is the word that's used to uh, describe that let's look at the words in the column yellow journalism yellow journalism so now shushant singh's uh, uh, suicide murder is almost become so sensational that it's bordering on yellow journalism every day you have a new story coming out okay let's look at sentence 4 a radio or 
television program where listeners or viewers telephone the studio and participate in the program okay so you you are given the opportunity during a television program or um, uh, radio program to call in like in kon banega karo pati you know you have that facility or many talk shows have that uh, programs have that facility to call in okay and you can talk to the host you can participate what is that called phone in yes correct it's called phone in okay so that's the term so these are all words from the uh, from the uh, uh, media world and so we must be familiar with these words all right a recurring piece or article in a newspaper or magazine that is it comes repeatedly what is that called a column okay it's a column and it's a column that's repeat uh, you know repeat, uh, uh, written by a particular person on a particular subject and it keeps recurring okay it keeps coming again and again okay uh, different aspects of it uh, six the use of detective like reporting methods to unearth scandals what is that called the use of detective like reporting methods to unearth scandals the same with sushant singh rajput's murder uh, suicide uh, it's almost uh, becoming like that you know all uh, reporters have become detectives and they want to uh, find all the the the, the uh, they want to solve the mystery behind his suicide death what is it called investigative journalism good very good it's called investigative journalism look let's look at uh, sentence 7 a serial television or radio drama dealing with daily events of the lives of the same group of characters what is it called soap opera very good all our serials that we see on uh, whichever channel whichever language is uh, there are radio dramas serial televisions okay uh, it's called soap operas okay and it goes on for years and uh, years also all right and there are seasons of it also all right eight a shot of a person's face talking directly to the camera the, just the shot of the face and talking directly to the camera what is it called talking heads it's called talking heads so these are you know but you we see this all the time and then so we need to know what these technical terms are let's look at sentence 9 a television or radio program in which stars and celebrities are invited to talk informally on various topics what would you call that talk show okay uh, karan johar has one many celebrities have it okay coffee with karan uh, those kind of shows kapil sharma show uh, uh, you know you you will have equivalent in every regional language too an article look at let's look at sentence 10 an article presenting the opinion of the editor or the publisher that's very important so it it gives you you know hindu editorial yes the word is editorial correct okay the word is editorial it comes in the center of the and you must read the editorial because it gives us the view point of the um, uh, the paper or the new uh, the uh, the publishers okay the hindu editorial or the indian express editorial or the deccan chronicle editorial it's very interesting and it it you know it sums up the standpoint or the viewpoint or the perspective of the newspaper or the channel or whatever it is all right okay let's move on to uh, the 11th sentence um, i hope you're looking at all the words that have been given to us so that we can pick up the right one uh, the 11th one is a comedy program based on everyday experiences what do you call that a sitcom okay it's called a sitcom 12 commercial promotion of a product or service commercial pro promotion of a product or service and that happens during the radio show or during the television it's called an advert from the advertisement okay all right 13 information leak to determine what the political reaction will be information leak to determine what the political reaction will be what is this it's a very uh, it's a term that we are not familiar with but we see it happening all the time it's called 
trial balloons it's called trial balloons it's a new word which we have not heard of okay so information is leaked uh, via the in, uh, the uh, print media or uh, whether uh, on new uh, by the in the tv or social media on the radio to see what the reaction will be okay so that's called a trial balloon all right let's look at uh, sentence 14 a small printed notice or advertisement a small printed notice or advertisement what is that called it's called a flyer you must have seen in the newspaper no you see little advertisements in colorful pages okay and you you it, they advertise schools colleges products coaching centers and they just keep it those are called flyers those small pieces of paper okay it's advertisement and sentence number 15 the dissemination of information that is um, uh, aimed at influencing the opinions or behavior of a large number of people what is it called that is giving out information dissemination giving out information and if the aim it has a particular aim it is a definite aim of influencing the opinion or behavior of a large number of people what is it called propaganda okay it's called propaganda and we see tv channels do it we see certain newspapers do it we see radios do it and we must be very careful of propaganda and as uh, viewers as readers we must be very careful and not get carried away by propaganda is that all right students okay so we have looked at some of the vocabulary uh, from uh, media we, earlier we looked at some vocabulary from business so these are words that we come up we may not come across but then these are uh, you know situations or contexts that we are familiar with and so we need to know what is the jargon or the technical term that or vocabulary that is used to describe these contexts all right so students basically uh, technical vocabulary uh, is based on the occupation profession or academics to make um, communication more appropriate and effective so i would advise that you look up at some of the specific vocabulary used in academics uh, and also in the various professions so that you have you can build your vocabulary and you can understand and communicate effectively in these contexts okay thank you so much students i hope you enjoyed the lesson take care and stay safe